What's up viewers? You got your switches powered on, but don't know how to access the web GUI, which is the graphical user interface for the switch? Find out in this video. All you need is an ethernet cable, which looks like this, and you simply plug it in into one of your copper ports, like that, and plug in the other end into your laptop. And now, go ahead and access the switch. First thing we want to do is go ahead and disable the Wi-Fi. What this does is it allows for a better connection between the switch and the laptop. Simply go on this icon here, right click, open network internet settings. Once you're over here, you go to change adapter options, see the, see the Wi-Fi, right click, disable. Once you have that done, you want to assign an IP address to your NIC card of your laptop. What this will do is it will put the laptop and the switch on the same subnet. What we want to do is go ahead, right click on the ethernet, properties, double click on IPv4. Once this window pops up, you go to use the following address. Once you click that, go ahead, type in IP address, and we're gonna put our laptop on the same subnet as a switch. This will allow us to connect to the switch. 168.1, and you can make this 11. Subnet mask would be 255.255.255.0 and go ahead and click OK. Once you do that, go ahead and open any browser. In mine, I'm going to use Chrome and go ahead and type the default IP of the switch. All our switches right out of the box have this default IP 192.168.1.10. Go ahead and hit enter. And now you're gonna see a screen that says login and password. Login is just simply root. There is no password. Go ahead, hit login. And now you have access to the main page of the switch. Here we have multiple settings, which you could use to configure the switch. But for now, as you can see, this is the main page and the system for information. It says ED3575, the name of the switch, the firmware, MAC address, and default IP. Great, so we learned how to access the switch via web GUI, which is a graphical user interface. If you want to learn how to access the switch via command line, check out this video. As always, thank you for watching. Let's make it happen with that zero distance.